Welcome back to my video series on unilateral training for the lower body to improve balance and function and strength so that you can increase your lifts, your squat, your deadlift, your glute bridge, your lunges, and avoid injury. Avoid hitting a plateau and avoid injury. So let's get stuck in. The third and very technical actually is the glute bridge, but it's a single leg glute bridge and I have some variations to make it harder. I'll show you the easiest way to do it and then the harder ways will follow. Now, if you have a misfire in your glute, this is where you're gonna see it mostly. If you feel that your lower back is activating a lot, especially when you're using one side, uh, then you know you have an imbalance there and you need to focus on that, that side. That glute isn't working like it should and you're gonna have issues. Trust me, I know and I've worked with tons of clients who have uh, you know, some imbalances in their glutes, so I understand it very well. So there we go, so single leg glute bridge, lying down like so. Um, I'll just tuck and let's get started. So, so we want single leg, take one leg, resting it up on your knee. This is going to make it a little bit easier to lift your glute up, uh, lift your body up and squeeze your glutes. It's a single leg exercise and it works really well. So lying flat and lifting up from the floor, hips extended, straight that means it's straight and glute is contracting back down, squeezing and back down. Okay, like I said, that is the easiest of them because it's assisted using the other leg. Now, the tempo on this exercise is, is great if you can pause at the top. So we go down slowly, no pause at the bottom, but when you come back up a little bit quicker, pause at the top as you saw I did. So I'm gonna show you the next version a little bit harder. So we take the same position, this time the leg is bent and we extend the hip, squeezing again, one, two, one, two, up on one. Hold one, two, down, two, up on one. Squeeze, squeeze, down, down, up. Squeeze, squeeze, down, down, and up, and so on. That is, that is once you're firing on both sides with the assisted version, left side working, right side working, and you're happy, nothing in your lower back, great, then advance to that next position. If you can do it with your knee in the air like that, and you have no issues, no lower back, both glutes working 100%, move on to the next one, and the next one is this one. So, we take a leg, Point it up to the sky, and this is harder again. Pointing, trying to touch your foot on the ceiling. One, two, one, two, one. One, two, one, two, one. Squeezing, two, down, two, nice. Okay, that is the third, a little bit more advanced, but this one is the hardest one. This one is where you extend your leg out in front of you, away from your body, and this will make it a little bit harder for you. And when you raise your hips, that straight leg that's out in front of you, must not go higher than the other leg. So your knees will come in line, and as you go down, your leg lowers to the floor. Watch what I do. So, we wanna be in that position, and let's go. As you come up, you lift both thighs next to each other, both knees next to each other, down, two, up on one, squeeze, one, two, down, two, squeeze, one, two, down, two. That is the hardest of the four exercises, one, two, three, four, yep, uh, versions of that exercise, but that's the one, the most advanced one before you start adding weights to, to challenge the leg uh, a little bit harder. But um, single leg glute bridge, technical, Seems simple, but it's not. Because again, you've got to connect your mind with the muscle and make sure you're working the correct muscle, uh, muscle groups. You want to make a group. You must make sure you're working your glute, not your lower back, not your hamstring, but your glute. And uh, 
And if you can do so and it feels even on both sides of the easiest version, move up to the harder version, harder version, harder version as you go on developing your strength on both sides, making sure that you've got that balance and that uh, function on both sides. All right, there we go. Third exercise done. Go and practice that, add that to your lower body workouts. Uh, and uh, you, I'm sure that you're going to have uh, some benefit from that. And I'll see you next time for our last video.